Megan Ryan Emser walked out on the Ludwig Field for the very first time tonight as the Maryland Terrapins faced off against the Georgetown Hoyas. And in dramatic fashion, the Terps fought back for a fourth consecutive draw. The first half was a close-knit affair with both sides having good opportunities to put the ball in the back of the net. Michaela Days had unleashed an effort that had to be palmed away, keeping a deadlock. But the story of the first half was Terp goalie Madeline Smith racking up a career-high seven first-half saves, including this beauty to keep it 0-0. Just gotta keep my team in this and, you know, keep going throughout our, one of our goals was to stay in for the first half and the second half mentally um, and physically, so yeah, just keeping my team in it, so. I'm really proud of Maddie. Um, so, came in December and, and we challenged Maddie in a lot of areas. Uh, her feet, technical, tactical, and she did an unbelievable save. I mean, uh, we talk about, you know, make a save that you're supposed to make and make one unbelievable save. She did more than that tonight. Uh, After surviving mounting pressure from the Hoyas, Henley Tippins notched her fifth goal of the season, tapping home from close range following a corner. But the Terps were not done yet. With 83 minutes played, Days lofted a stellar ball into the area to be headed home by Alina Stahl, securing another draw on the young season. Honestly, I just happened to be right place, right time on both those ones. They were like the first goal of the beginning, great ball by Amanda, and then um, this one was a great ball by Kayla right where it to be. They stuck to the game plan. Um, I thought that there was moments when Georgetown obviously had the better of the play, but they didn't break. That's what we talk about. We bend, but we don't break. And then they stuck together. And then once again, to show their response, we go down one nothing with a few minutes left in the second half. Um, to me, I'm very proud of, of the fight that the team had. The Terps will continue their six-game homestand Sunday afternoon when they welcome in the George Mason Patriots. From Ludwig Field, for Terrapin Sports Central, I'm Matthew News.